Hi y'all, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I spent the entire weekend at home to get out of this weird funk. I recorded a podcast episode. I'm doing a life reset. Like we're making moves. We're getting out of this. Um, and this week is gonna be a good one. We've got some things going on. Um, we have a lot of house updates actually. So my goal this week is to wake up at 6.30 every day and go on a nice little walk every morning before my workout because I find that I just feel better. I went on silent walks this week because I was listening to OK Sis and Maddie was talking about it and basically it sounds like everyone's worst nightmare like you go on a walk with like no headphones but it's actually really peaceful and it's nice to be like one with my thoughts. It's scary at first but it gets better or like maybe it's just a me thing but really it was a good experience. So I did that this morning. I just got a little bit of work done. The weather's actually been really nice. So I've been working on my patio, which has just been so fabulous. Lots of things coming. Anyways, today I'm going to work out right now. Then I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I'm gonna get some plants because I wanna put some flowers in my pots. I'm supposed to get a grill at some point this week. And then I also, um, I think the couch for my studio room is arriving today, which is like really early if so. I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure it's that. Lots of updates, lots of things coming. Um, I'm also gonna be making Ina Gardens new, not new, new to me, her Ina Gardens summer pasta. Like we are, we're doing the things. We're, this, this vlog is gonna be the best vlog you guys have seen in a long time. And you're gonna be like, wow, I love Kinsey's vlogs again because something has been going on with me and we're getting out of that. Also, by the way, if y'all are new here, subscribe. Spending a lovely morning here. The weather is beautiful. I might buy a grill, looking at some plants. Okay, this is all looking stunning. I got some beautiful flowers, planting soil, grill stuff. I did find a grill, so check me out. Okay, I got it all, guys. It was so peaceful. My grill is being picked up later. I'm so excited. Quick break to talk about our sponsor, Scentbird. I have loved Scentbird for years. If y'all didn't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription that allows you to try a new or multiple um, designer fragrances a month for just $17. Each one of these has a 30 day supply, so it's like amazing. Also great for travel. They have over 600 brands to choose from, so they have like Prada, I think they have Gucci. I used to always love getting people the juicy on here. So basically all you have to do is twist this, to spray, you just open this. This is the actual vial. I have all these different colors. DKNY, I cannot pronounce this correctly, but it's on the screen. Deck of Scarlet, Not Your Girl, which I've been wanting to try. And then Floral Street, Arizona Bloom. It's nice because you're able to try out different fragrances without buying a full bottle. Because once you have a full bottle, you're just like married to that and you can't really try out like new ones, you know what I mean? So with my link, y'all can get 55% off and a case, which they're so cute. I love this pink one. Thank you to Simpered for sponsoring this vlog. Let's get back to the video again don't forget to check it out QR code the links below happy shopping Alright guys, there's some people at the house all day, but a lot has happened, so I want to give you guys a little update. The rumors are true. I do not have a grill, okay? 
I got the next grill because that is what my mom recommended. It's a really inexpensive grill. It was a five burner. I'm so excited. I was just on Pinterest looking at recipes of things that I want to make, but... I just feel like this is going to be the best thing ever. I'm very, very excited. And then, as you guys saw, a little high fits. I made a mess over here. Um, oh, I did get this stuff for grilling. Not the tripod. I need to put this stuff away. But these, like, rubs for different, like, meat and stuff. And then also a grill spray. But Molly sent me a TikTok saying to not use a grill spray and to use a potato so i'm gonna try that out and then i also got this because i feel like i'm gonna be doing a lot of pizza nights and stuff out here when i entertain and that's obviously much needed i was getting these hung up and then we took them down because they're way too big and i don't know like do i go like across this way or do we go around like how does that work and i need to get less lights like this is too much anyways the flowers are looking so cute and then the couch has arrived now ignore the brown things because they look weird right now especially because like the chairs aren't here they won't even be there. They're going to be moved. They're, they're, just ignore them. Like, really, I don't need comments. Just ignore them. It just looks so cute. Every time I look in this room, it just puts me in such a good mood because I love the wallpaper. Like, I am just obsessed with it. I want a wallpaper, like, so much more of my house, but it doesn't really work in my house, so I think I might wallpaper the guest room just to, like, have a fun project to do eventually. But this couch is from Polly and Bark. It's pretty low to the ground, like, I'll show you guys. But it's actually, like, really cozy, and it's a pretty small couch. Like, this room obviously isn't huge, and I'm still gonna have a coffee table, which I feel like, I don't know, you know how a room always looks bigger, like, once you have furniture in it? I'm replacing this with a different, like, credenza, but I kind of feel like we need a smaller coffee table. So, I don't know. Um, and then I have the chairs coming. I also have a rug coming. There's just a lot going on here. This is where I'm gonna be recording the podcast. So it's really cute and it just like puts me in such a good mood. It's also like the entryway of my house, which I don't know if like over time I'll feel weird about. You know what I mean? I don't know, like walking through it every time. But it's gonna also it's gonna be like an entryway slash podcast room. Like it's only gonna be set up for the podcast when I'm recording the podcast. And then I'm gonna put the stuff away in the closet right there. So that is the plan. Fitz is just the sweetest boy ever lately. He's so needy. Why are you sniffing me? He wants the horse. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna get a little bit more work done and then I'm going to the movies tonight because I got invited to go see an early screening of The Flash. And my little brother loves movies and he loves like superhero stuff. And also I like that stuff too. So we're going together. That's how I get him to hang out with me. Um, and it's at North Park. So I'm excited. I haven't been to that movie theater in so long. But yeah, like guys, ignore this side because we have a lot going on. But it's just like cozy. It's been a really cozy, productive day from home today. Got a lot done around the house and then also got a lot of work done. I do have like random stuff I really just need to clean up and like this is driving me insane, but I gotta figure that out. My house is so clean, it just feels good. Okay guys, so I'm supposed to be in the movie right now, um, but like something happened and we went there. They were so rude. Well, only one girl was like the rudest ever. Like, oh my God. But we were supposed to go, like, we were like sent to the Flash movie and then they said they had like no record of that and they like didn't want to send, but I didn't have like tickets at call or something. I don't know. Long story short, I'm back home. We went to dinner and that is it. Um, I have some stuff for the grill that I got earlier that I showed you guys and put away. Actually, this is you outside. I think I'm gonna, I need like a somewhere to put my grill stuff, you know? Like, do I get a little bucket and keep it in the pantry? Do I get something to store outside? I don't know, like what do people, what do like the grill masters do? Cause I'm trying to be like them. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm listening. I'm back. I'm listening to Armchair Expert. I think really don't want Armchair Expert kit. Oh, I also ordered this on Amazon. It's just this like barbecue, barbecue, barbecue tool set, a four piece, um, that I'll definitely be trying out soon. I looked up some recipes and I'm really excited to get on my way. And, as news ever, Skims, my favorite pajamas, these are the ribbed ones, my two favorite pairs of pajamas, are the Everjay pajamas. And then the Skims cotton ribs, like there's just nothing like it. Get, I, oh my God, I get um, a medium in these and they're just like so soft and comfortable. Anyways, they came out in pink. So I got a pink version or a pink pair, if you will. I've tried the other Skims pajamas and they're like fine, 
but there's just like nothing that compares to these like at all i will link them anyways it's like 8 30 we were gonna go see air but then my brother was like i'm just tired so honestly that girl just like killed our vibe like she was so mean that we were like oh my god like you know when you're like so excited for your plans and then someone like ruins your night that's like what happened to us so i don't know i've been getting invited randomly to these movie screens but like i don't even want to go anymore because it's like i, I literally I, I can't even describe to you it was just like i don't know I, they were just so mean like we were nice i don't know what's going on so anyways um still a fun day really good day i'm gonna get in bed and read it's the um bright side of the story is that i have more time to read and i book up on wednesday and I need to finish this book anyways. So, oh my god, we're going to Vegas. My Nosh, or my Vegas group chat is popping off. We're going to see Kelsey. And the Friday before, we're going to Billy Carrington. It's going to be a really big weekend. So, anyways. Oh, I also got a Lego set. I know I showed you guys a little, I did like a little vlog clip. Um, but we got a Lego set for Soph. I texted my brother because, like, we grew up with the Stone Fire Mall. And then I was in a rock park when I was like, older. Like my parents would drive us there, which is a little bit further away. Um, and my little brother, Cody, was obsessed with Lego. So I texted him, I was like, oh my God, they just opened a Lego here. And it's like, I want to go in, like it's very nostalgic. So we went in and I spent like half of my childhood there with him. He's obsessed with Legos. And we got Sophie Legos because she likes doing Legos with Uncle Cody. So got that, went to Abercrombie, did the thing. So anyways, have a fabulous night. And that is that. Just had a nice morning out on the patio. I'm about to leave for spin class. I've been loving Soul Cycle lately. Like, I don't know what it is. Actually, I do. I really like taking from Ashley. And then I also really like Kayla's class. That's another class that got me back into it. But when I leave Soul Cycle, I'm just in like such a good mood. And it's nice. And I like the playlist. And I feel like my other workouts, like weightlifting and stuff, we like talk through it. So I don't have like time to like zone out necessarily which I like about weightlifting actually, like it gets me like more into it, but just having like a good playlist, oh, it's amazing. And I leave in such a good mood. Where's my water? Dang it, I forgot that in my room. Okay, well we're gonna go get that, but I'm wearing the Outdoor Voices like seamless collection, which I wore so much when I moved into this house. It was actually like the only workout set that I was wearing. Oh my God, what is my chest? Um, it was actually like the only workout set that I was wearing because I only had like certain clothes or whatever. And it is such a good set. It's so flattering, so comfortable. Outdoor Voices is priced really well too. I actually really like Outdoor Voices, but specifically this set, it's like up there. Like I feel like Sport Body from Set Active, which I thought it was Scope Flex. I posted on my story and everyone was like, it's actually Sport Body. So it's actually Sport Body, guys. And then Anything Year of Ours, and then Outdoor Voices Seamless. Like it's just, so good. Anyways, I'm gonna listen to some podcasts. I didn't walk this morning because it just wasn't speaking to my soul. It wasn't, and it wasn't even that, well I did stay up late until like the night, which is very late for me. I finished the Auto Quiet Place book, which is my book club pick. And the like, controversial take, it wasn't that great. Like everyone was like, oh my God, it's so good. And it just like wasn't. Like so many people commented that they loved it. I did get a few saying like it sucked. I'm like, I don't think it sucked, it's just like, I didn't like it until the last 60% of it, and even with that, like, it was good, and there were definitely twists that I didn't necessarily see coming, but it, I wouldn't say it was, like, amazing, you know what I mean? I am, like, a thriller queen, because I read so many thrillers, so maybe it's that, I don't know. It was fine, like, it was a good book, but it wasn't, like, I'm dying for it, so. Anyways, we're off. Okay, here we go. I'm home for my workout, it's like 11.15. I had some calls and meetings, and then I just showered very quickly and got ready, and I ordered myself First Watch for breakfast. I love First Watch. They have these, guys, I ate them immediately. It was like bacon, maple, 
vibe. I don't know, bacon. It's really good, like brown sugar. I just ate it and it like hurt my teeth. That's how much sugar I think is on there. So maybe not getting that again because it was a little painful. But anyways, I got a little breakfast wrap. I forgot to make my overnight oats, so I'll do that today. You have no idea what he is doing. Why are you walking like that, bud? What's going on? Um, Coco and I are gonna go to her physical therapy in a second. I'm gonna eat this breakfast. I just got some books. I downloaded some books on my Kindle and I'm ready to go. I'm like dressed. Like really like a true mom. I know you guys are like, how are you wearing a sweater right now in Texas? It's actually really nice out. This sweater, this outfit is for comfort only. This sweater is way too big. It's my favorite for people sweater. Hi, Fitz. This is what I mean, like just so clingy. Um, and these are daily drill shorts, but I have the wrong size. They don't want the fit. Um, I just have the wrong size, I think. And then these shoes are Sam Adelman. And then I have my dog carrier from Diggs. I wish I had a different color, like a nude, but this is me. Being a mom. Guys, I know I'm wearing a sweater, but it is really starting to feel like summer. I might, if we're very lucky, I'm putting positive energy out into the world. Might be going to the lake house this weekend. My dad got a new lake house, but all the lake houses that like are within my family, it, it sounds way bougier than it is. My parents are just divorced. Um, they are like Airbnbs. So um, I'm, anyways, you get a new one and he just listed it, so I'm hoping, I mean, I hope he gets business, but I'm hoping he gets business after this weekend because I called it if it doesn't get booked this weekend. And I'm just praying to God that I end up at the lake this weekend. Seriously, I just need like a summer weekend at the lake. Um, but I'm on my way to the now massage. I'm really excited. I'm getting a scalp massage, my first one ever. And I've been really wanting one because I know it's like good for like hair health and hair growth and stuff. They're doing a collab with The Way and I love The Way and I love The Now. So I'm excited. I go to the Lower Greenville location. Um, I know they have one, I think like Preston Center as well. And then I know there's like another one coming. But anyways, I'm excited. I got a lot done. I took Coco to physical therapy, um, good stuff. Honestly, the physical therapy appointments have been like good for my like productivity because I just have like an hour of time where I just get like everything done that I have been putting off or like just stuff that I need to do on my phone. It's actually pretty productive. So anyways, I'm really excited for this myself. I've been wanting one so bad. I'm also getting the deep tissue enhancer with it. I'm gonna do a whole TikTok on my experience, but I'm very excited. All right, y'all, I just got ready in like 15 minutes. Here's my outfit. I'm actually really into it. Um, I know that probably not everyone will be. So I have my vintage boots on, and the skirt's Princess Polly, tops out to our voices. We're gonna stop so we can't hear Coco anymore. Um, but yeah, my hair is still drying. I'm running out the door. Good morning, y'all. I went to my workout, I came home, I placed a big order on Skims because it's the biannual sale this week. So I'll be doing a Skims haul in the future and then I just linked them all on like, my stories I'm going to. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram and I'd like to know what, I've actually been active like leaking my outfits because I find, I feel annoying when I forget in vlogs specifically. And if I forget a vlog link, by the way guys, this is why I've forgotten. When I watch back my videos, I do the links during that time. I just forgot to copy and paste the note and put it in the description. So that's on me. Anyways, I'm linking things in real time though on Instagram. So I'm gonna do that later. I'm on my way to Foxtrot to have a little meeting there. The one on Knox, I love Foxtrot. And then tonight we have book club. Coco has another appointment. I just got a lot of work to do around the house. I need to go to the grocery store because I'm gonna start grilling tomorrow, which is obviously very exciting for me. I hope the Foxtrot has the breakfast tacos right now because they're so good. I listen to the Jelly Roll podcast, or Jelly Roll on Joe Rogan, and listen, like, Jelly Roll and his wife, Bunny, deserve the world. I'm obsessed with them. I, like, watch every single TikTok she has and I start listening to her podcast. I love them, but they are just the best, coolest people that deserve every single thing and more, and, like, I'm obsessed with them. I can't wait for the documentary to come out. I'm like obsessed. So anyways, I hope you guys having a fabulous day. Okay, y'all, I am grilling for the first time. So I'm making some zucchini with basil, honey, and goat cheese. And then I just got like the lemon um, salmon from Sprouts to make it like quick and easy. I've only got about like 30 minutes before I've got to head out. Um, but I did get some work done and I'm just feeling so good. Like I am in 
just like the best mood this week and I was in such a bad mood last week I never already said this but like I'm really just thriving I have Zach Bryan playing blasting it's only 80 degrees like it's feeling great guys this is so good so I have a video on my TikTok with like the recipe but it's literally just grilled zucchini I got the zucchini I cut it put some salt on I like patted it down a ton because there's so much water in it and then I brushed it in olive oil put it on the grill grilled it, chopped up some basil, and then chopped it with goat cheese, honey, and basil. It is so good. I also grilled salmon. I'm about to eat that as well. This is great for like an appetizer at a dinner party especially. Like I would do like maybe like five of these and just put them out, but they are so good. Welcome to another amazing, beautiful day. Ironically, my podcast episode just went live about getting out of a funk, but it clearly worked if you guys have seen this vlog. So go watch it on YouTube and listen to the podcast. I will have it linked. I'm trying to post them as like posts on my YouTube channel, but I really want it to be more of like a vlog cast. You know, that's why I'm working on the studio, while we're doing some things. So let me know. I also think I'm gonna need to wash my hair again today. Just thinking out loud here. Anyways, um, I'm on my way to Pilates right now. And it's a Fergie themed class. I am so excited. Shine up Pilates. They've been doing a lot of the I love a themed workout class. Like I'm there. If Soul Cycle especially has so many of them. Um and I'm so excited. And oh my god, my favorite class has been booking like crazy. I used to go and get my spot number four every single time, no issue. And then it's so crazy that like the 8:30 will book and i have to literally be there with my app out as the class is starting to book my spot for the next week and i finally got my spot today after a couple weeks and I'm, you know when you have like your favorite spot it's just a very exciting time so anyways today um just getting some things done coco has um, another appointment i need to stop at her vet for some meds and then later i have either one friend or two friends coming over. We're grilling again. We're having like a business meeting as Lawrence who owns DeNovo, the store I was at last night. And we're gonna chat all things business. So it's gonna be good. Um, I'm really excited and I'm really excited for this weekend because another day has passed that the Blake House hasn't booked. So I think it might be mine. Just got back from Coco's acupuncture class, or less, not lesson, appointment, whatever. I made this for the second day. This is just the sprouts, um, like pre-marinated lemon, whatever salmon they have. I grab a few of those just like through the week because it's easy. I was so hungry when I came back, but that's the thing about this meal and grilling, it's so quick. Then I made the same thing I made yesterday. The recipe is on my Instagram and my TikTok, but it is so Good. I'm obsessed with grilling. Like I'm, I know I've made two meals, but I'm obsessed. I'm grilling tonight too. Stay tuned, but so good. Also, I got this Martha Stewart's cooking school book. I love like a cookbook or anything like this. I will take these to hair appointments and like dog ear them and then actually use the recipes. I feel like people buy cookbooks like I used to in the past and like never actually used the recipes. I would just use them as like a not like as actually like a coffee table book, but like the same vibe of where you get them to like look cute, you know? But now I actually use them all the time and this has like everything that I could need and I'm obsessed. So I will be going through this. I'm going to link this on my Amazon storefront as well, but I just love it. Also such a good thing to have in my house. I'm cleaning stuff right now. I just unbox the boxes, 
but I don't really want all these out. Obviously that's not, this is not anything that's staying here. Um, and then I have this like cookbook stand that I love. It's so amazing for cooking, obviously. But yeah, I need to like go through and decide which ones I want out, which ones I don't. I really like this one, by the way, the Genius Kitchen. I can make an uh, Amazon storefront of my cookbooks. True Roots I've used, yeah, I've like dog eared some of it. I don't think I've cooked actually that much from here, but I really like actually having a cookbook because again, it's like less technology in the kitchen. I say as I'm filming, but you know what I mean? Like having the cookbook like out here and if not, I'll transfer it to a recipe book. Okay, taking a little break, been working, but now I'm making, or I'm prepping for the Ina Garden pasta, like their summer pasta recipe. I am so excited, I've been waiting to make this all week. So I'm using cherry tomatoes. I know that I know this is like normal, but on all the different recipes, it was like back and forth. So I just chopped up some garlic, minced some garlic, and I'm cutting the rest of these tomatoes in half. And then all you do is combine them in a bowl um, with olive oil for, with like pepper, red pepper flakes, um, salt, olive oil, basil, I think that's it. And you just have it sit in room temperature for four hours. So, um, I'm gonna have that sit as I'm doing the rest of my work today. My friend Lawrence is coming over tonight for dinner, but we're also like doing work stuff. So, she's like helping me brainstorm some stuff. She owns Zenova Active. If you guys are in Dallas, you need to go. That's where I went last night. Um, but anyways, I'm just prepping this because we are gonna make these like grilled caprese like chicken breasts that looks so oh yeah, that's why I have that tomato. Thank god I didn't chop it up. Um it looks so good. So this is just gonna be the side. I'm gonna have this like sitting out. I need to put my laundry away, it's just been sitting there. If you don't put your laundry away immediately, you just will literally never put your laundry away. Oh, also, Coco got sent home with a cart this week, like a wheelchair, essentially. So that's something. Um, she's been napping ever since getting back. She gets like really tired because obviously she's you know working out. So what are you gonna do? I also had another cup of coffee because for some reason I'm really tired today. I was supposed to close on the townhouse tomorrow, but it's got a call that I think closing is getting pushed to next week. So, gotta figure that one out, or not figure that one out, just like changing my day tomorrow. Anyways, this is what I have that I just chopped up, and then I just chopped up some basil. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. This bowl I got from, I think, a thrift store. I'm recording an entire solo on dinner parties next week, or tomorrow for next week, but that'll be out already by the time you guys see this. Something that's like one of my favorite things in my kitchen, this is so random, and I just have a meaning to mention it, are these like measuring cups from Anthropology? My mom got me them for Christmas and they are just so much better. Like first off, I love the cups themselves. They're so cute, right? Then they're just better. They're stackable. I know other ones are stackable, but like, just trust me as far as like saving space, everything being organized, these are the best I've ever had. I'm like obsessed with them. In case anyone was on the market for creating measuring cups. But I need to do a whole thing about like my favorite stuff in my kitchen. Also, Started using Brightland this week. I love Graza so much, like obsessed. Started using Brightland, really liking it so far. This is the 100% garlic olive oil. If you ever don't know what to get someone who like maybe has similar interests to me for a gift, olive oil is the best gift ever. So random, I'm like really old that that is like what I consider exciting, but I'm telling you, it really is.
guys. I just did my laundry, which took me longer than I would like to admit. I It's later. I just filmed the <laughs> Semperd sponsorship, as you guys can probably tell. Um, I just like love this stuff. I've been waiting because I didn't want to lose these because I know I had to film it. But I throw them in my bag. Like, that's what why these are so convenient. And you can, like, lock it so it doesn't spray. It's just amazing. So I'm going to go throw these throughout my bags and get back to work. I would love to, like, shower fully. And I really do need to wash my hair. And I do need to self-tan. But I'm having a friend over for dinner, so I'm not doing that yet. But I've already said that 15 times. It's later. I'm now prepping for dinner. Getting my things out. This needs about another hour or so, but I'm making the chicken. Um, I'm out of a few things. I need more basil. I really just need a basil plant, like, here. So that's on the list for this week. But I'm so excited for dinner. Living for this vibe. Like, look at this. Out there. About to start the grill. Gonna drink some wine. I'm trying to get more into wine. I don't know if this is natural. I feel like it isn't. I've just had it forever. Um, but I really do like natural wines. Like, I know I love Aveline. I don't know. The other ones I think I need a cork for. Actually, I might try one of those Kenny Confidential ones. Let me see. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. I'm going to Soul Cycle having such a good week. I do think we're getting the lake house for this weekend. So that's exciting. I'm making my final plans and recording today. Got a lot of stuff going on. This guy is in my swim class and he's staring at me to film myself. So goodbye. Just showered and got ready into my makeup, but I came home to a package from Califia Farms, which is my favorite. As you guys know, I literally got iced coffee while I was out. Um, so that was a waste, but I mean, it's not always, it's always put to use. So I officially have the lake house this weekend. Marissa and I are going. I think I am gonna vlog part of it, um, just cause I have my niece next week and I don't have to vlog that, that much. Dom's also actually coming next week. I know I've said that 15 times, but she really is coming next week. So I gotta like prep the guest room and all that stuff. And this is like, you know, a great mood as we've established. Doing a little Calithia Farms um, haul for you guys. And for those of y'all who've been asking, where you get the cookie butter creamer, because I know, I've heard it's hard to find, but I've never had an issue because it's always at Sprouts and that's where I grocery shop. So I think that maybe Sprouts carries it more often or something, I don't know. But like today, I posted an Instagram story that they were there. So my favorite cold brew, or iced coffee. Oh wait, okay, so this is actually iced coffee and this is cold brew. Maybe this is what I love the most. I've gotta figure it out because I don't pay attention to these bottles. I'm more of an iced coffee girl than a cold brew girl, but I drink this all the time and I love it. So I'm wondering if that's it. And then I have the cinnamon roll oat creamer. I have, oh, campfire s'mores. That looks incredible. Like, actually incredible, okay. And then I have Califia Farms, obviously almond milk creamer, the cookie butter, which is my favorite. It's my favorite, but to be fair, I haven't even tried these two. I'm just so obsessed with the cookie butter creamer, so maybe I'll do a little taste test on TikTok or something. Maybe Marissa and I will do that in the morning. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna grill for lunch. I have someone coming over who's gonna help me with some stuff this summer and she's gonna help me record some episodes, take some brand photos, all that stuff. And then Marissa and I are gonna record tonight when she comes over. It's a whole thing. I'm having such a good week, guys, listening to Taylor Swift. It's really something. I really don't know where I'm gonna put these because I just like, don't have enough room in my fridge. I'm gonna figure it out. The mushrooms right now, or I'm grilling the mushrooms, and then just a skewer, skewer? Why can't I say that? From Trader, no, from Sprouts, it's literally $2, amazing. Great for hosting if you end up like being on a time crunch and you get like 10 of these, like amazing. All right guys, I'm gonna end today's vlog because I need to like self tan and do all the things and prep for tomorrow. I just filmed and recorded an entire Solo Pockets episode on how I host dinner parties and the room is just getting cuter and cuter. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you very soon. I just wanna say that grilling is like one of the easiest things I've ever done in my life and no wonder guys like it because it's so fucking easy. So of course I can master it. Like I'm already becoming a grill master, but something about grilling is so much easier than cooking because it just automatically tastes better.